Welcome to Africa's Vision Network. Africa's Vision Network, as you know, is a show that interviews people about what they're doing in the African American community and the world. And usually you see me interviewing someone on the set. But today we're going to have a little different kind of show. And I am going to tell you African stories. I hope you enjoy them. My first story is from Africa, as most of my stories are, and it is about a chief. And this chief was called the Yes Chief, the Yes Sir Chief, because everyone in his court said Yes Sir to everything that he said. So if he asked them what they thought about something he was going to do, he would say, what do you think? And all the men around would say, oh, yes, sir. Yes, sir. You are correct. <laughs> and he loved it. Well, on this particular day, there was a problem. The chief called the council together. And everyone hustled into the chambers. And he sat on his throne and he said, I have a problem. And I want there to be a solution. You, all my great wise men, tell me what to do. And so, of course, they nodded and said, oh, yes, sir, yes, sir. And the chief said, I have been unable to sleep for at least several weeks now, and it's really getting on my nerves. Oh, your highness, they said, well, what could be the problem? He said, frogs. Frogs? Frogs! Don't you all hear these frogs? They're making the loudest noise you can imagine. And it's really, really getting on my nerves. I mean, all night long, these frogs are out there singing, and I can't sleep. Something must be done about them. They said, yes, sir. He says, I want there to be an edict sent out throughout the land, and I want every frog killed. And then maybe I can get some sleep. And all of the wise men said, Yes, sir. Y yes, sir. Well, there was one wise man who was in the court, and he always sat to the side and a little bit to the back. And he always sat there looking at the chief while everyone said yes with a solemn look on his face. And the chief always noticed him, and he was always irritated with this man. And he said, what is it? There you are. Everyone's telling me, yes, I'm right, and you're sitting there. What do you have to say? And that wise man said, chief, everything is connected. Well, what does that mean? Everything is connected, your highness. Oh, oh, it's ridiculous. All right, disband. Everyone go out and make sure you get rid of those frogs so that I can have some sleep. And sure enough, they did. They got rid of every frog in the village, killed them off, exterminated them. And finally, the chief could sleep, and he slept soundly for days and days and weeks and weeks and months. And one day, he sat in his palace on his throne, and oh! A mosquito mm, uh, bit him, and uh, there were more. Uh, uh, what is going on? He quickly called a meeting. Council members, come in! Are you all having problems? Uh, mosquitoes! Mosquitoes! And they all came into the chamber, and they were like, oh, your highness, oh, yes, your highness. Oh, he said, oh, shut up. Shut up, sit down, they're having a problem. You see the mosquitoes? Mosquitoes are everywhere. And they all sat down and he looked at them. He said, you dumb men, I asked you to get rid of the frogs and no one told me what would happen if I did. Now these mosquitoes, they're killing us. How can you stand it? And everyone was slapping themselves and trying to kill the mosquitoes. And he looked to the side and saw that one wise man that didn't agree with him. And he said to him, what, did you, what do you have to say? You could have helped us. You could have saved us. What do you have to say for yourself? And that one wise man looked at the king, the chief, 
and said, Your Highness, everything is connected. And that's the end of the story. Now that story is from somewhere in Africa. I'm going to choose Nigeria because many of you who watch the show know that's where I'm from. Nigeria, my favorite place, my homeland, I love so much. And this is a great story for our environmental days. We get rid of so many things that we've said is dangerous and we shouldn't have them anymore. I even think some of that Purell we're putting on our hands and our kids' hands is killing off germs that might save our lives. But from this story, you can see that when you're about to kill something off or get rid of something, think about what would be the ramifications if you do. And I think in our world today, we're getting rid of a lot of things, we're, we're disbanding a lot of programs, and we're pushing lots of people aside that we really need, and especially our elders. They're being pushed to the side when they're old, when they can't talk like we like, when they're not quick enough, but we need them. And so remember that everything is connected. And now, Another story I have, we're going to go to the great country of Ghana, and I'm going to tell one of those beloved Anansi stories. And it's called, How Wisdom Was Spread on the Earth. Now, Anansi, if you know any Anansi stories, is a very, very troublesome spider. And he teaches us a lot of lessons about life and how we should behave. Well, in this story, Anansi decides that he wants to have all the wisdom in the world. And he sits down in his house and he thinks about this and decides that he's going to go to God and tell him to give him, Anansi, all the wisdom in the world. So he sets off to heaven and he gets up there and he's in the great throne room and God is sitting there. Come, Anansi, God says. And Anansi comes to God, he says, oh, I, I, I want something. And God said, well, that's why I'm here. What do you want? <laughs> well, Anansi says, I want all the wisdom in the world. Hmm, God said, all to yourself, a little spider like you? Yes, all to myself. I want to be the smartest and wisest thing in the whole wide world. Oh. Well, God said, well, uh, well, I could work on that. Uh, uh, there are some things, though, that you're going to have to do to become the owner of all wisdom. Oh, Anansi said, oh, I'm equal to the task. I can do it. So God said, all right. The first task I have for you is that you're going to go and get a dwarf for me. Anansi said, a person dwarf? Yes. And bring the dwarf to heaven to me. Mm, Anansi thought. Okay, 